shit sound sneaky, right? First and foremost is location. It's the most important element of fishing for me, especially on short sessions. And that's even more important when the water's cold and the fish aren't moving around so much. So when you arrive at your venue, take a little bit of time before setting up, have a little look for the fish, check a few quiet corners, watch the lake, see if you can see anything showing and take note of what other anglers have been catching around you because that always gives you a good idea of where the fish are as well. I think a lot of anglers uh, go into the session thinking about multiple catches and that's all right on a really high stock lake but on most lakes realistically we're looking for one bite so fish for a bite at a time if you catch one quickly you can always catch another one but if you make too much disturbance put too much bait in then you can mess up your chances for the whole session so one bite tactics In general, on a shorter session, you won't need to be carrying so much gear with you. You don't need the kitchen sink. If you don't need a bed chair and a bivy, there's really not much else you do need other than a rod, a bit of tackle, some bait and a net. So yeah, travel light and you'll be far more inclined to move. And if you can move onto fish, you're more likely to catch one quickly. So yeah, this is quite an important point. Although I like to use just one rig for most of my fishing, there are times where you do need to mix it up a little bit. I might need to catch one off the surface. I might need to do some free lining. I might want to zig fish. So it does pay not to strip out too much. Make sure you've got the bare essentials of tackle and enough bits and pieces to make up maybe a different rig or fish in a different scenario. The busier the lake, the more the fish respond to pressure. You know, and a lot of people, when they turn up, they want to fish out in the middle of the lake. It tends to be the most pressured part of the lake, which means I'm always looking at those quiet corners, those little snaggy bits, those areas that people might only have to fish one rod. You know, that puts a lot of people off. So yeah, check the quiet corners. Remember, short sessions, you're only fishing for maybe one or two bites. And yeah, that doesn't need to be out in the middle of the lake. The more you disturb the area in front of you, the longer it's going to take to get a bite. So for me, the pole really comes into its own when you're fishing these shorter sessions. It allows me to deposit a rig and a bait without disturbing the carp, particularly if I can find them feeding already. It means I don't have to create the situation. I can take advantage of one that's already there. So yeah, be stealthy. This also goes for walking into the front of a swim. Assume that every swim has got a carp in the front of it. The amount of times that I've stepped into the swim without thinking about it and spooked one out of the edge. That's a fish that I might have had a chance of catching had I been a little, a little bit more aware. One bite tactics come in a variety of forms, whether you're fishing a single, whether you're dropping from the pole, or whether you're using a PVA bag. And PVA is something that I've used extensively over the years. If I'm just fishing for a bite, it's the ideal way of just getting a little bit of bait around the hook and rig. You can also do it with the pole as well, but a bag is a much simpler method. And on a day like today, when it's chucking it down with rain, uh, it's the perfect solution. If you can work out what time the bite times are on your particular chosen venue and time your session to that period of the day, you're gonna have a much better chance of catching one on that shorter session. So for instance, if you know that first light is good for a bite, try and get there for first thing in the morning and you know that first hour or two of your session is gonna be likely the most productive. One major edge if you're fishing the same venue regularly is to keep the bait trickling in in a couple of areas, you know, a little bit of pre-baiting really does stand you in good stead. It means that you can turn up on a whim and know that even on a short session, you've got a chance of, of dropping in on fish that are either waiting for food or used to finding it in a particular area. It doesn't have to be a lot of bait. Regularity is the key. If you can get down regularly, do it. Particularly on short sessions, I'm using bait that is really attractive. I like really powerful zingy pop-ups you know if i'm fishing singles i like a nice stinky bag mix and i like a lot of small particles which leak off plenty of attraction so yeah high attract baits pellet stinky pop-ups anything that you'll draw the fish in quickly <laughs>